Hello and welcome to Phuket. Today we're off to... <laughs> so, Tommy, took to diners. What's going on here? Okay, dude. Reason why I did this whole thing, it's, um, it's kind of a homage to my dad, okay? My dad's back there, and basically in the 70s and 80s, he had a sweet food truck, okay? The food truck phenomenon's in now, it's really big, but dad was doing it in the 70s and 80s. The proper way of selling ice cream, uh, pepper steak, Thai food, and hot dogs, have smokes, chili cheese dogs. All the things that basically helped me be and gain uh, as much affinity and sexuality <laughs> and sexuality I do have now then. After clubbing, we always wanted to go for a late night option. Usually a diner. Diners were places of friends and family, and just good times. And so I wanted a diner, but I also wanted American comfort food for afterwards, so I decided to combine them to make this the Duk Duk Diner. Because this is Thailand, I wanted something that was kind of also Thai, you know? So it's a Duk Duk Diner, it goes around after hours at the, after the clubs, and it basically hooks everyone up with amazing all-American yummy food, okay? All right, what is that? What's on the menu? Okay. We got double cheeseburgers, Okay, we got chili cheese fries. We got something called the all nighter, which is basically uh, all the little bits you want for breakfast, like sausages, links, eggs, bacon, hash browns, cheese, and all the sandwich. And then uh, the nuggets, tater tots, tater tots. Tater tots. I haven't yeah, had this yeah, since I elementary know. school. I know it's crazy. And then uh, of course, it's a, it's a small, simple menu. Eventually, I'm going to put in some more uh, Thai style things, like a little bit of some thong, things like that. That's, I do want it to be a bit fusion, but for now, it's just going to be a simple yummy, clean menu, fresh ingredients. I'm hoping people will dig it. And also, the coolest thing is that I've always wanted certain vehicles growing up. A tuk-tuk, definitely. This is, like a, this is a black, red, chrome tuk-tuk, okay? It's crazy. It's not even supposed to exist. And then uh, <laughs> I made the other tuk-tuks look like vehicles I wanted as a kid. So one looks like the uh, Mystery Machine and from Scooby-Doo, and finally the Munchie Machine. Okay, hints, hints. And then, uh, we have another one that's called the, uh, the General Sap E. Lee because uh, the General Lee was, uh, of course, the, the Dukes of Hazard's fame, uh, General Lee, right? But ours is General Sap E. Lee because Sap E. Lee means actually uh, spicy, yummy in time. It's Isan. Yeah? Cool. So the two, they're pretty uh, dynamic driving around. Uh, What's this one going to be named? This one actually was supposed to be, uh, uh, this was actually supposed to be Mr. T because this, this is actually, uh, you know, Red Wheels, Black, I was supposed to make it gray on top. And then uh, make a red stripe, but I haven't been up with the red stripe one. So it's supposed to be a Mr. T. Now, I love it when a uh, burger comes together or something. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Uh, so now, right now, you just have a fleet of three. Are you looking to expand? Or what's the pro where's the project well, going to go? The project's going to just keep on going. I'll just keep on uh, making vehicles that I love, like uh, well, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle van, uh, the Knight Rider <laughs> van, uh, not van, but uh, car, kid. Uh, they're going to be basically all the vehicles I always wanted. Uh, you know, Everything from, uh, uh, you know, Back to the Future, anything, yeah? anything that is a ride that you wanted, I wanted. I want to make it to these tuk tuk yeah? Right, and so what's your favorite dish on the menu? I, I am actually training. I train at Tiger Muay Thai Gym. Very good. I've lost 12 kilos. Yes. So I've, uh, I've now eaten my own food. You know, <laughs> you, uh, you don't get high on your own supplies. <laughs> uh, but I eat my own food only once a week as, as my treat meal. But this one here. This stuff is good. If you are like this, you're lean and mean, <laughs> go nuts. You know, it's good, high quality, fresh, everyday food. The chili was amazing. Now you said it was a Texas style? Texas style, no bean chili. Like, like red, hot, yummy chili. And actually, I can't eat spicy food. The uh, reason why we made it that spicy was because my, my friend who, uh, who basically is the chef, right? Our cook. He said, dude, you have to make it a little bit spicier for the farms who live here because they've gotten acclimated to a little bit a little bit more punch, mm -hmm. so you gotta make it a little spicy. I know you, like, you're a wuss, you can't eat any <laughs> spice, but we gotta do it. And so, okay, okay, I trust you. So that's the way chili comes out. That, it's stunning, I put it on my burger. Oh, yeah. It's Hot dog, fries. Everything, everything, it's good, it's good chili. Yeah. I think, man. Um, hopefully, when we keep on going, keep on expanding, we'll get more and more uh, places on the island, and eventually other places around Thailand. Yeah, catch us at the end of a club night, it might be welcome. Oh, yeah, okay, definitely, uh, I'll see you there, see you around, see the tuk-tuks around. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh. Really appreciate it. Look forward to it.